Hello. Welcome to 30 Minutes. I'm Rick Anthony. My guest today is Pat Killian, Executive Director of the Commerce Center in Delaware County. Uh, Pat's office is in media. He oversees a number of programs that have a direct effect, direct impact on uh, many, many of the 560,000 or so residents of Delaware County. Uh, particularly because of the headlines about how sluggish the national economy has been, this recovery that really isn't a recovery, the importance of creating jobs, and that's one of, uh, I'm sure, uh, Pat's agenda items at the top of the list. I thought it would be instructive to bring him on and have him describe to us what he does, what his department does, and the impact it has on all of us. Pat, welcome to 30 Correct. Minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your being here. Thank you. Uh, when I went on the web, well, we always start with who you are, where you came from, and so on. I, I know you're from upstate. Yes, sir. A good part of the country. Yeah. Uh, Scranton? No, uh, above Scranton. Uh, above Scranton, a little coal mining town called Oliphant. Uh, well, 5,000 people, four coal mines. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was born in a little town called Frackville. I know Frackville very well. Uh, down in, I guess, the, the, the southwest. Right off the, 81, on the way to Harrisburg yeah. from Scranton. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, notable because of the federal prison there now. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> yes. There, there are a lot of, fed, lot, lot of federal prisons up there now. Yeah, there yeah. are. Uh, it's, it, it helped to solve the employment problem. That it did. Yeah. Uh, but you, you went to school where? The University of Scranton. Mm -hmm. at, uh, Scranton Prep School, then University of Scranton for undergraduate, graduate work. Uh, spent some time in the Navy. I uh -huh. uh, came out of the Navy, went into county government in Lackawanna County for about three years, and then uh, Spent the next 14 years of my life working for uh, John Hines, Senator uh -huh. Hines, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, was his press secretary, his chief of staff, his campaign manager mm -hmm. at different times. And uh, that must have been very exciting. It was a very exciting time. You find out what a big state this is. It's yeah. a huge state. And he was a big personage. He was as big as it came, yeah. and as good as it came. Yeah. And big and, loss. And horrible loss. Yeah. Horrible day. Yeah. And uh, have been with the county for over 20 years now. Is that right? Yes, sir. Always uh, doing this kind of stuff. Always doing this. Always doing economic mm -hmm. development. Mm-hmm. And you live uh, in Haverford. I live in Haverford Township. Okay. Uh, so now we, I guess we can call you a native. You've been here long. Enough. It's I've, I've been here longer than I was yeah. there. So yeah. it, it, well, 20 years is a generation. Yeah. You've been here a generation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you preside over a number of different activities, all related, obviously, to economic development, <laughs> workforce development, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was doing some work for the uh, Delaware County Community Foundation, I did a study on the level of civic engagement among older adults in Delaware County. Mm -hmm. And I got to know, therefore, some of the stats that I otherwise would mm -hmm. have had no reason to know about. But the fact that we are a, an old, in terms of the population, the age of the population, we are an old community. We probably have the oldest population, uh, percentage-wise, of any other municipality, uh, or the county, rather, in the state. Uh, more senior housing than almost any other area in the country. Um, that's got to present both opportunities and challenges from your standpoint in trying to attract business to a, a county that is an old county, old infrastructure, uh, pretty well established. Uh, um, um, you're getting my point, I guess. Yeah, I'm, but I'm not sure. I, I'll disagree with part of good, it. Good, good, good. Uh, uh, which is actually my old home county, of Lackawanna and Luzerne, are, yeah. the, are the oldest counties in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what we have in Delaware County, which is an advantage, yeah. uh, when you when you are bringing people into the area, is a very stable population. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is a, and as a result of the stability of that population and the older housing stock, uh, what we have that many other counties don't have is affordable housing yes. for for young folks coming mm -hmm. in and up and coming. And uh, you and I were chatting earlier, and the county is really sort of a microcosm of the Commonwealth. Uh, you have r almost rural pockets, you have suburban mm -hmm. pockets, you have exurban pockets. Uh, in the eastern end of the county and some of the smaller communities, the Darby boroughs of the world that are proxima Philadelphia, they have some of the same problems you get in a, in a center city yes. and, are, and are doing a, a, a great job in, in trying to address them. Uh, but uh, uh, because we are such a diverse county and, and there is such growth in the western end of the county, uh, we have the availability of high-priced housing stock, but also the availability of lower-priced housing mm -hmm. stock and do, as you said, I mean, when people come to Delaware County, they stay. And the reason they stay is it's a good place to be yes. and it's a good place to grow. So I see stability as an advantage, not as a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, fair enough. Yep. And I guess I could see that from a, uh, the standpoint of someone who's moving in and is concerned about labor force, the stability, and the quality of the labor the force. The incredible quality of the yeah. workforce. We're blessed with so many wonderful uh, <coughs> educational institutions uh, uh, in the area. We really do. And some of the best uh, secondary uh, mm -hmm. school systems, high school systems yes. in the state. Uh, of course, they, they, they cost us a pretty penny, right. but everything does. I guess you get what you pay for. Now, can you sum up what is the role of the Commerce Center? It, 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 uh, you know, Pennsylvania, I mean, given our, our, our Quaker heritage, yeah. you know, has all sorts of variety of, of uh, as you know, we have more municipalities than, yes. than any other state in the mm -hmm. country. Uh, but we also have more different types of economic development agencies uh, that, than most other states. You have redevelopment authorities, which can actually exercise eminent domain for private development. They're the only entities that can do it. You have industrial development authorities that float certain types of public bonds mm -hmm. for manufacturing facilities. You have economic development boards. Uh, in this county, we also have at the called the Waterfront Industrial Development Authority, which owns and operates the uh, Philadelphia Union Soccer Stadium in Chester. Uh, in many counties, they are all of these are different agencies housed in different places, mm -hmm. administered by different folks. Uh, Delaware County, a number of years ago, decided to consolidate them all under the umbrella of the Commerce Center, uh, which is a fictitious name for what is also the Economic Development Oversight Board. We perform the administrative functions for all of these, these agencies mm -hmm. and are, in fact, a one-stop shop. Uh, if it's business retention, if it's business expansion, if it's loans, if it's if it's working on eminent domain, if it, if it's land development, mm -hmm. it's us and nobody else, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it, it, it makes it very convenient for the end user, which is the business, and and uh, convenient for the taxpayer who uh, we're there to make sure that our tax readables grow, yes, yeah, and, and uh, that's what we do. And from your standpoint, what are the biggest challenges you face today and and for the foreseeable future? in attracting new business, not so much retention of existing, but attracting new businesses. The, 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 I think that, and I see it in all of the counties, uh, all of the suburban counties, and you see it throughout the state, is the, the unavailability of credit. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult uh, for businesses to grow without access to credit. Uh, no project is 100% publicly financed, uh, and I don't think we've ever done one, and I don't think anyone's ever done one. Mm -hmm. uh, but very often, the public has to get involved in in, area, in areas that are hurting, that, that need that need additional yeah. development, and you need some public money to, as it were, prime the pump. Uh, uh, but once you get that public money in to prime the pump, you need the private equity, and, and, and it is it is not as readily available now as it was even as recently as five or six mm -hmm. years ago. Uh, and yet we've seen some remarkable, the, the, the revitalization of Chester, for example. Yes. With the investment that Harris has made and, mm -hmm. and others, the, the stadium, mm -hmm. the soccer stadium. And as I understand it, more coming. Um, the uh, I, I had Jeff Rutwit on the show a couple of weeks ago, uh, Sun Center Studio, yes, or the, the film pr production house, and other really exciting stuff that's going on in the county. Uh, that's not an accident. I'm sure that's the no. result of an awful lot of long, hard work, <laughs> with some arm twisting and praying. Uh, can we look forward to seeing more of that at a, an accelerated pace, particularly in Chester, where, as I said, for the first time, at least in my memory, some really Terrific things seem to be happening, and it's sticking. I, I, Not just throwing money at the problem. Yeah, yeah. The short answer is yes. Uh, I mean, we're nothing if, if not creative. Uh, I'm a <laughs> poli-sci major, uh, but but every day I learn a little bit more about something different. Yeah. I mean, I know more about slot machines than I ever thought I'd know. <laughs> I know more about slot, uh, again, what they pay off and how uh -huh. often they pay off. Uh, the same holds true for uh, soccer teams. Uh, I've learned a heck of a lot about refineries in the, in the uh, last five I'm months. Sure so you did. I didn't know what the crack spread is, uh -huh. and what back and crude is, and what sweet crude is, and, and, and whatnot. And it does take a lot of effort. I mean, start to finish the soccer stadium took two and a half years uh, of negotiations. Harris was ooh, just just shy of two years. Mm -hmm. And and what you have to do is uh, that when we made the announcement, the very fortunate announcement that. Uh, Monroe Energy, the subsidiary, uh, subsidiary of Delta Airlines, came in and bought the refinery yes. at Trainer, 
and put every single person that was out of work back to work. Mm -hmm. And there's 400 people working down there today. And there was nobody working there three months ago. Uh, I said in Delaware County, when you're presented with a, a, a dilemma, you, you, your choice is to either wring your hands or roll up your sleeves. Well, we roll mm -hmm. up our sleeves and we get it done. And, and I think we're going to see, see mm -hmm. more of that mm -hmm. as, as we go forward. Uh, you mentioned before, I said something and then you picked up on it. Uh, we do have an older population. Yes. Um, you've heard the statistic, uh, I'm sure, by 2015, I read somewhere, it was probably a, a Labor Department stat, there will be two million jobs in this country that will go unfilled because we don't have skilled workers. For mm -hmm. them. We have warm bodies, but we don't have skilled workers. Uh, to what extent is that true, not the numbers obviously, but to what extent are we facing the same kind of problem here in Delaware County, or do we have a surplus of high quality workers? I don't think we have a surplus. I mean, we are very lucky that, that we have a, a uh, and it's not my shop uh, that, that does this, we have a very active workforce investment board, and really one of the best, best workforce investment boards mm -hmm. in the state, and the executive director is a, fellow named Frank Carey, uh, maybe try to get Frank on, he's very good, mm -hmm. and, and uh, who really keeps their fingers on the pulse of what are the particular skills needed and, and are, are very involved as we speak uh, on the retraining of some of them. I mean, even though the refinery had been there in trainer for so many years mm -hmm. and the employees that are left that are coming back are, are steel workers, they're being cross-trained in, in different skill levels than they had before. Mm -hmm. And Frank's in charge of that and doing that and doing a very good job. So we make a, and work very closely with uh, the, the economic development folks in the county, work very closely with the uh, workforce development folks mm -hmm. to make sure that we're ahead of the curve. I spend a good bit of my time with early stage ventures. Mm -hmm. uh, Pre-revenue for the mm -hmm. most part, uh, small, many of them in healthcare, technology, um, uh, life sciences, but many of them in foods, beverages, travel, those kinds of things. W what special programs does the county have for early stage companies? Uh, does the county have an incubator or an accelerator? Years ago, the county did, did and, and I, by years ago, I mean a decade plus. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, a small incubator in the county, and, and I know other counties had them. And, and, and many counties got out of the incubator business because what you saw was people nef never left the nest, literally. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you, you were became you were running many office parks, not yes. not business right. incubators, and, and there's attention being given on our part and on the part of county council to rethinking that whole approach. And uh, we're not there yet, mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, as you look into biopharma, mm -hmm. uh, uh, there there is probably a need for some type of an incubator, and as you had said earlier. An accelerator for that, and I, and I think we'll we you know we'll hope mm -hmm. we we'll reach a point where we'll be able to do something like that, but not today. You just uh, triggered uh, a thought up in uh, Mount Carmel. You mm -hmm. remember Mount Carmel? I, it's a great football team in yeah, Mount Carmel. Yeah, that's right. They live for football up yeah. there. Uh, anyway, Mount Carmel has spent an enormous amount of money, as you probably know, in rebuilding its infrastructure yes. so that it presents itself as being one of the high tech industrialized centers with that enormous industrial park they have, all the money they have invested, some of it public, but much of it private mm -hmm. as well, in putting the infrastructure in place to attract small businesses particularly. And uh, I guess you would call it light industry. Mm -hmm. uh, they're still struggling, mm -hmm. but they, they can see some light and they're getting some, some attention, particularly with the economy, I hope, rebounding. Uh, has Delaware County done anything comparable to that in terms of investment in upgrading the infrastructure? The, the uh, uh, short answer is yes. If there's money available, we'll mm -hmm. always, I mean, you always look to upgrade your infrastructure. Uh, but you had referenced Mount Carmel, which is uh, Schuylkill, Luzerne, Schuylkill County. Yeah. And, and I talked earlier about how we are structured economic, as an economic development agency. What many of the economic development agencies, particularly upstate, uh, can do, which is in Hazleton and uh, yes. uh, uh, Pocono Mountain Industries, which is up in, in Monroe County, uh, they are private not-for-profits and they act as office park mm -hmm. and business park developers. Mm -hmm. uh, can do out of Hazleton, which I believe built the Mark Carmel site. They didn't, their sister agency did. 
Uh, they're a, 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 a again, like I said, a public not-for-profit agency. Mm -hmm. They develop office parcels. They develop industrial parks. We don't down here. None of us in southeastern Pennsylvania do, uh, because you have such strong development companies mm -hmm. existing in each particular county and in the city of Philadelphia. So they're landlords. We're not. We'll never be a landlord. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but I believe the Mount Carmel initiative was was private. Yeah. I guess it is. Just it's as a you private. Said. Yeah. 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 Uh, Steve, I've forgotten Steve's last name. Yeah. I I I I should know because I I oh, he, up until two years ago I was president of the State he, Economic Development he, Association. He, the representative he, he all of them. lives. Uh, yeah. He's fanatical about yeah. bringing Mount Carmel back. Yeah. And talking to anybody, he can he can button up yep. uh, to tell them about what the wonderful things they've done up there. Yep. Uh, and I, I think I know a local uh, entrepreneur has a huge investment in that. Uh, he, I'm sure you know him. I won't mention him by name. Has a huge investment in that industrial park mm -hmm. because he's committed. This individual is committed to bringing manufacturing back to the U.S. Yes. Uh, uh, talk about that for a moment. Do you see a counter trend? Uh, manufacturing coming back from Japan. I'm sorry, from uh, China. Oh, I think so. I, I think so, but, but but with one big difference, oh. uh, which is, and, and you see it at the Philadelphia Navy Yard. Uh, mm -hmm. It uh, you hearken to my John Hines days. I remember the one of my first trips to Delaware County in 1976. We gated the factory at Sun Ship, and there were 10,000 people working there because it took 10,000 people to build a ship. Uh, well, upriver right now, they're building ships with 1,100 people. Yeah. It doesn't take 10,000 people yeah. to build it anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the, you saw it in the Mon Valley with steel. Uh, manufacturing will come back, but it's going to be a very sophisticated manufacturing process uh, without the, the, the proverbial boots on the ground mm -hmm. that you needed even 10 years ago. Yes. I mean, every day yeah. we find out a quicker way to do something. I mean, I'm sure the studio would have been structured a lot different That's 10 right. years ago than That's it is right. now. Yep. Uh, what is the largest industry in Delaware County? That is, uh, the, the it, it companies or organizations who employ the largest number of people. Well, healthcare is a very large employer in the county, particularly the Crozier system, mm -hmm. uh, which is over six thousand people. Boeing uh, is could be anywhere from forty-five hundred to five thousand. Uh, Boeing is. You, you talked about manufacturing earlier. Uh, Boeing is the largest single manufacturing site in the entire state. Is that right? Yeah. And oh. and uh, if uh, that wouldn't have been the case 15 yeah. years ago, yeah, you know, less than 5,000. But but again, repeating myself, it takes fewer people to build more things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so healthcare, healthcare, manufacturing, manufacturing, Boeing. There are a lot of suppliers for Boeing, smaller machine yeah. shops. Uh, you know, Delaware County has over 14,000 businesses. And and uh, Montgomery County, a like amount. Bucks, uh, probably about the same. Chester, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit less. So that's mm -hmm. a lot of businesses in, in one suburb, one suburban area. Do you have underway, Pat, a, a special initiative to attract foreign com companies coming into Delaware County? <coughs> we work very closely with the regional groups on that. A group uh -huh. called Select Greater Philadelphia. Yes. Uh, none of us have the the. Uh, and intentionally, mm -hmm. I might add, uh, have the wherewithal to go on foreign trips. Mm -hmm. I mean, our, our time is better spent here. But uh, there, there are trade missions. The, the governor's office has a very, very active uh, trade initiative overseas. Governor Corbett just led his first, uh, uh, first overseas uh, trade mission probably about six weeks ago, six, mm -hmm. eight weeks ago, uh, to France and I believe Germany. And and uh, the in the Department of Economic and Community Development, they've got a got a great business development initiative mm -hmm. uh, for foreign companies, and and we are uh, oddly enough just to the end of last week, we was talking to folks from Thailand uh, uh -huh. who were interested in in doing some particular developments over here. Uh -huh. So would that be a technology company? It's it's a all I can tell uh, you at this tech? point. It's a it's a Thai. Yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, talk about the extent to which there is cooperation between and among uh, our neighboring communities, all of us competing for the same pot of gold. Well, it's, it's not, I, I mean, we're friendly rivals, Yeah. Uh, but we all have our own uh, plus and minuses, uh, our strengths and weaknesses, shall I say. Uh, the the 
my compatriots in Montgomery and Chester County know that if, if someone's coming and looking to establish a, a manufacturing facility and need river access, mm -hmm. they should send them either to us or Philly or, or Bucks County, mm -hmm. and more likely us in Philly because it's so far to go up river in Bucks County. Uh, just as, as I know, if, if a company's looking for hundreds of acres of green space, we don't have 100 acres of green space yeah. in Delaware County yeah. any longer. And I'm doing myself and the, the client mm -hmm. a disservice by sure. running ring around the rosy with them when, when, when I know we don't have what they need. Just as uh, he recently retired, Carmen Natalia in Montgomery County knew if somebody needed a ship lane, mm -hmm. you don't have it in Norristown. You mm -hmm. do have it along the Delaware. Mm -hmm. is, is the waterfront Delaware County's biggest asset? Uh, I th our, our biggest access, uh, excuse me, asset uh, is certainly our transportation system. Right. Uh, any means available of moving commerce we have. 68% of the airports in Delaware County, the Philadelphia International Airport. Uh -huh. uh, the river, uh, which is finally being dredged, uh, is in Delaware County. Uh, Interstate 95, 476, Delaware County. Amtrak, Delaware County, Chessy System, Norfolk Southern System, Rail Links, Delaware County. If you're going to move, if you're going to move material and move goods, mm -hmm. uh, the best place to be is Delaware County. Mm -hmm. With all of those assets, what do you see for the next three to five years for Delaware County? I, we have been, uh, and it's my job, that the, yeah. but 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 we've been very fortunate. We've been very stable uh, in, in a very difficult time. And you'd referenced yes. earlier that. Uh, there has been significant growth in, in certain sectors. And uh, I mean, the movie studio, which is a uh, slowly starting starting to mm -hmm. grow, and uh, there's still a lot more development work to be done out there. But they he's shot got some, he's got some great plans. Shot their first movie. Yeah, uh, yeah I was down touring the set. Uh -huh. when, uh, they shot the Will Smith movie down there. Uh, and, and what we did down there is, is, is which really makes it interesting, is we didn't bring in a business, we created a whole new industry. Yes, yes. Uh, and because it, it takes thousands of carpenters to put mm -hmm. those sets up and thousands mm -hmm. to take them down and they need dry cleaning and catering. And so we created a new industry in Delaware County. He said, as a matter of fact, that that film brought in 50 million of revenue. Yes. Plus all the food, housing, and other discretionary spending that went on because of hundreds of people who were here for several months. Yep. Uh, it's got to be a boon. Oh, it's 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 it's, it's boon, and it's a boon for that end of the county. Sure. And, and I think that, uh, and the state just uh, increased the the percentage of tax credits you'll receive mm -hmm. if you film at a soundstage uh, in Pennsylvania, as opposed to doing on location on site yes. uh, filming. Uh, so we see significant growth there, and and, and continued growth. And uh, like I said, we roll up our sleeves and try to do. Yeah. yeah. Who who would have known? What I was going to do being yeah. slot machines and soccer teams, but we've done them both. <laughs> and and now we've got an airline owning a refinery. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Who would who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Uh, you must see a, you, you probably have one of the best jobs in the county. I don't know whether it's one of the best. Well, it's I sure one of the one of the more interesting. Yeah, it's got to be one of the best because, as you said, you you see so much. And you see it before anybody else it gets a glimpse of. Well, it. that's true. I mean, we, you we have we, the advantage of foresight. We 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 uh, our first meeting on the the uh, Delta Airline Monroe Energy Refinery deal was in November, and it didn't become public until April. So, yeah, it, uh, yeah. yeah. Why should uh, I, as a resident taxpayer in Delaware County, uh, care about what you and yours do on a day-to-day -day basis? What impact does it have on me? in terms of quality of life, the tax base, maybe I'm answering my own question. Yeah, well, I mean, well, I mean, it, 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 of course, yeah, quality of life is one because you have, uh, uh, you have people working and, yeah. and uh, quality of life when you do unusual things like uh, racetracks and casinos and movie mm -hmm. studios, you have destination sites, mm -hmm. uh, which you didn't have before, but most importantly, uh, you stabilize the tax base. Yeah. You know, all of these, all of these folks are playing, paying, uh, paying taxes and they're yes. all, uh, these aren't 10,000 square foot buildings. These are 100,000 square mm -hmm. foot buildings that mm -hmm. all, although some that were in opportunity zones like the casino, which soon won't be, uh, uh, delay paying their tax bill when they do. It's they're pretty hefty tax rateables, mm -hmm. which go 
goes right to, as we were talking earlier, about 75% to the yeah. school districts, yeah. but a lot to the, the local community. Mm -hmm. And the businesses, and, and, and we've got, we've got a very, what we have in Delaware County is, uh, it's a big county, as you know, uh, 500,000 plus, we, you and I both talked about earlier, 550, 560. not in terms of... But um, it's a small town, it really. It is a small town, yeah. And, and, and the corporate community is very involved. Yeah. And, and we have corporations uh, all over this county who, who may be paying for a police car or mm -hmm. paying for a, a police canine unit somewhere mm -hmm. and, and do it without any fanfare. Uh, but uh, Philadelphia Union, uh, for example, and, and, and has put money towards uh, out of their coffers. Uh, towards the uh, hiring of extra, uh, the defraying of the cost of extra state police protection in the city of Chester uh, to patrol the streets. And, and uh, so we get a, an active corporate community like that. It, 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 it accrues to everybody's benefit. Mm -hmm. uh, comment on the hospitality industry in mm -hmm. Delaware County. Um, I'm not talking about Harris so much, but yeah. we could sure use a few more hotels, yep. upscale hotels, mm -hmm. um, in all parts of the county. Up and down the main line, as you know, it's the Radnor Hotel, it's the Wayne Hotel, it's so the courtyard. Daughter in getting Stratford. married in six weeks and is that right? finding a hotel. There, at, there yeah. you go. Um, and, and Jeff uh, Rotwit was talking about, if, if I hope he can, when he creates the second phase mm -hmm. uh, to, to make his uh, property a destination, he's going to need rooms, mm -hmm. hotel rooms. Where's all of that going to come? And is there a master plan? There has to be. Can you share with us the master plan? It, it uh, again, well, that that resides in our, our convention and tourist bureau. Yeah. Uh, but because of the economic development aspect mm -hmm. of the construction of, of hotels, I, I know of a uh, quick reckoning in my head six that are, that are that are contemplated, more than contemplated, really? are, are, are are ready to get built. Uh -huh. uh, and and uh, all they need is the money, like one or so at the airport. Uh, mm -hmm. But all the rest, other places where they would be very, 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 uh, and out towards this way and out towards the western end of the county, mm -hmm. uh, where they would be very useful. The the uh, you're you're running into the capital market problem problem right. I yes. referenced earlier. Right. Uh, we had a and this was two years ago uh, a significant hotelier uh, who already had his flag and it was one of the national flags like mm -hmm. a Hilton or. or mm -hmm. uh, on land that he already owned, and uh, we spoke to a number of banks with him. Uh, we never speak to one bank. We'll speak five, six, seven, mm -hmm. eight, and and, and 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 we're told by and, and I'm talking big national banks. We don't do hotels any longer. Yeah. I mean, and it was just a corporate rule. Yeah. And and uh, so that's got to change. Yeah. Uh, be, because. Uh, I know I'm repeating myself. Unless you get the credit, you're not going to build it. We also have a number of senior housing. I don't mean housing. We have senior living we have senior facilities. Living facilities. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Maris Grove, the mm -hmm. big one out in the, the end of the township, mm -hmm. out of the county. Uh, are, are there more of those coming in? or are, My sense is they've been overbuilt. I'm not sure they've been overbuilt, Rick, but I, I don't see any more coming in. Yeah. Uh, we certainly, no one's approached us that I'm aware of. Uh -huh. uh, with any plans to build them. I mean, we also have at, at Fair Acres the largest publicly owned nursing complex in the, in the state. With a very good reputation. With an incredible reputation. Yes. And, 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 and reputation. the county does a wonderful job yeah, with that. They do. Wonderful job they with do. that. Okay, so of the things we've talked about over the next three to five years, which of those sectors, those industries, those businesses, do you see having the highest degree of growth? Well, I do see. I do see that that, that we, we we will alleviate your hotel problem sooner rather right. than later, because uh -huh. uh, that's the market, uh -huh. and there's the market out here for hotels, uh, because there is so much activity out here, uh, and, and uh, SAP down in Newtown Square, sure, yeah. takes fills the Radnor Hotel, sure, mm -hmm. uh, every day of the week, yeah, uh, and, and, and and Wyeth did before them, and exactly, yeah. and and so the, so there'll be more of that and and more more construction in that area, uh, we see, uh, anticipate significant vote growth in, in bio and, and yes. pharma, right. again in the western end of the county, mm -hmm. and, and right. I, th I think our, uh, the county, we are working on, you know, county council is certainly looking at, at doing some 
some things that could be very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, the the we got a great state administration, very cooperative in in working with us in growing business and maintaining businesses. Yeah. And when you look at we talk about the refineries, you have the two refineries, the one that's now fully yes. operational again. Uh, Marcus Hook, I think uh, I am more than confident uh, will become a center for uh, uh, plastics. Marcella Shale and, mm -hmm. and construction in that area. Well, it all sounds very exciting, and you have good reason, and therefore we have good reason to be optimistic. Thank you. And to wish you the best. And thank I thank you, you for your time. Much. No, my thank pleasure. You. Uh, I hope you've learned something about uh, your county and the people who are trying to make it even better. Until next time, this is 30 Minutes. I am Rick Anthony. Take very good care of yourselves.